Hey guys, welcome to the bonus board smashing on my vlog channel. Today, we have this cheap eBay tripod. But before we do that, let me tell you some more information about this thing. As I said, I bought it new on eBay for $10. It is very cheap, you don't know how cheap it is. Let me show you some of its scars. This is from when I let it fall to the hardwood floor for a gag in a video. Can you see this really deep dent? This was from when I was smashing that like home phone and the phone just like flew towards it, made this really deep dent. And now the leg won't go in all the way since it's so dented, see? So yeah, this thing's really cheap, the plastic's really cheap, the metal's really cheap, it dents really easily. Let me show you how easily it dents. This is a dry erase marker. Do you see that? What else can dent this? A book? Crime and Punishment? Let's see. Oh yeah, we're getting some good dents in there. So yeah, as you can see, this is not the greatest. But playing Rocky 1, 2, 3, how are we gonna film a YouTube video without this? Well, you're sitting on it right now. It's the vintage Kmart Focal. From Goodwill, I paid about $10 for it. I don't know when this thing was made. I read it on the internet, it was like somewhere in the uh, mid 1980s. But it held up after all these years, so it must be good quality. Like it's really heavy. And it goes much higher too, let me show you a comparison. So when I was trying to pull out the legs for a comparison, this part fell off. I think it couldn't handle crime and punishment. So yeah, this is how high it goes compared to this. Get out of here, cheap. Meanwhile, this new tripod has a really great special feature. If you just like loosen the uh, bottom leg, it reveals a spike. See that? You could kill someone with this tripod. Meanwhile, that thing couldn't hurt a fly. Take note that this thing was made in the 1980s and it will not dent. Here's the same marker. I'm hitting it hard, I don't want to break the marker though, but you can see it's perfect, there's no dents. Let's hit my old tripod with my new tripod. Yeah! It gave it that dent. Here we have the leg of the cheap tripod that broke off. Yep. So here we are at the site where I cracked my iPhone 5S for the first time. I wonder if a basketball were to hit it, it would fall over. So let's try that. Okay, we're just gonna put my wallet case on it. Just It's just the wallet case, no phone inside. Okay, let's try it now. Okay, so as you can see, it took multiple tries to get it to tip. Now let's try with that cheap one. Since it's missing a leg, we're gonna use a rock to prop it up. See that? Let's see how it will dent if I just like slam a basketball onto it. Okay? That was a bad idea as soon as I tried it. Oh man. <laughs> the thing to like put the phone onto the tripod broke. But the <laughs> tripod is still fine. There's only like one dent, I could clean that off. I knew, it was a, I knew it was a bad idea as soon as I threw it down with just like the tripod in front of it. Such an idiot. But the phone is fine though. That was a really bad repeat of last time. I just want to say, even though it just like slammed down on hard concrete, this is the only dent it received. You're the main cause of this! <laughs> Shattered. Alright, I got another uh, iPhone to tripod adapter, so now let's do a bike test on this tripod. Okay, so after riding it over a couple of times, it kind of looks like this now. Thank you guys for watching, I have some cleaning up to do and some eBay ordering to do, so see you guys later.